the disc break community seems to always be up in arms and they're so fickle when it comes to me making any jokes about rim breaks or disc breaks. Yo, welcome back to the channel boys and girls. Today I wanted to take a break from my LA Sprint build and give you guys a tour of my training bike. And by the way, stay tuned to the end of this video as I will have a free hub sound test for you guys on these scribe wheels. Shout out to GC Performance. Now, this video actually comes from a request from a viewer out there. And so I figured now would be a good time to give you this tour of my training bike now that both the weather and the roads here in Chicago have gotten much better. Now for my training bike, I also have this set up to be my climbing bike as I'm hoping to participate in a few uh, rolling hill races later on in the season. So before we get started, I do want to mention a couple things. Number one is the weight of this uh, setup here. So without the PowerTap P2 pedals, the overall weight of this build is 7.3 kilograms or about 16 pounds, which in my opinion is pretty good considering this is at the end of the day, a budget carbon aero frame. The second thing I want to address is rim brakes. So whenever I make any comments on rim brakes, whether it's on YouTube or on my Instagram, the disc brake community seems to always come at my neck and I don't understand what it is and why you guys are so fickle with your egos or your pride, but I'm gonna explain this yet again. So for me personally and why I am rim brakes for life is number one is here in Chicago, the roads here are absolutely flat as a pancake. Number two is I don't ride my bike in inclement weather. That's what Zwift is for. And number three is as I continue to train for crit racing here, when you're racing, you're not really using your brakes that often. Not to mention rim brakes, as we all know, is slightly lighter than disc brakes. So I don't have a need for disc brakes in my application. It is possible to have disc brakes and rim brakes coexist in the same universe. Purchase what you like and just deal with it, all right? So now that we got all that out of the way, let's get on with the tour of the bike itself here. So as I mentioned before, this is my Yolio R6 frame set, which I built up back in the summertime. I'll have links for that as well. The um, group set I'm using here is the Altegra R8000 uh, group set. Up front, I have a 5034 crank. Um, in the back, I'm running an 11 to 28 cassette. Um, I do plan on swapping out the rear derailleur for a medium cage derailleur so that I can fit my 11 to 34 Altegra cassette for those hill races that I mentioned earlier. Now moving out front, uh, we have a pair of carbon aero handlebars from the brand off of AliExpress called OG Efkin. They work really well, they're super lightweight, they soak up a lot of the vibrations on the road. I wouldn't recommend them if you're a sprinter that's putting out say 1500 watts in a sprint, but for all other applications they work really well and being that they're lightweight, I really appreciate that. Um, of course, we have the Super Caz bar tape. Most people run that, so that's not anything new to report. I also have this um, computer mount that I bought off of Amazon for about 20 bucks. It works really well, no issues there. Next up, we have just a basic Bontrager uh, alloy stem. This is a 120 millimeter stem uh, with a negative seven degree of angle. Next up, we have my set of Bontrager carbon um, bottle cages here. Um, they are a little bit pricey. They were about a hundred bucks, but they work well. They're super lightweight. I haven't had one single water bottle fly out due to bumps in the road or heavy terrain. They just work. Next up, we have uh, my Bontrager Montrose Elite saddle. Uh, this is the mid-range saddle in the Bontrager lineup, about 150 bucks. I also like this saddle as well. It's super comfortable whether I'm out on the road or on Zwift, and it allows me to have different positions on the saddle depending on how I am riding. What else we got here? Uh, the PowerTap P2 pedals. Yes, these are expensive. They're about eight or 900 bucks, um, but I like the versatility to be able to move these pedals with ease depending on which bike I'm on, no problem. They just are a little bit heavy. They're about 400 grams for the pair, including the batteries. Next up, we have my tires here. So I'm running uh, Continental GP5000s. I really like them for the fall and the spring, and I will be running these tires at least until the mid spring. Now moving on to the wheels themselves here. Now you guys know I absolutely love these wheels. These are my race lightweight alloy wheel set from Scribe. Uh, they're super lightweight, which attests to the overall low weight of my build. The hub and ratchet sounds phenomenal. Other than that, guys, that is about it. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below, and I will check you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.
All right, guys, here is a free hub sound test on my Scribe Alloy Race lightweight wheel set. Let's begin. All right, that is super loud and obnoxious, but I love it. All right, guys, peace. Thank you.